Hey YouTube, so this is kind of a before and after and a review on the stickerless empty. Now, the sticker Lasanchi is not mine. Um, it's from LP Destroyer 115. He is a friend of mine and stuff, and he has a sticker Lasanchi, and he wanted me to Lubix it, so I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to make a review, because I have never reviewed one of these before. So, um, first, I'm just going to do before and after, because this is before Lubix. So I'm not going to go too in depth. I'm going to go more in depth after I Lubix it. But, um, so right now, with a single flick, it can go. Let's call that 100 degrees, 95 or 100. Um, yeah, so now corner cutting, we're going to count the degrees approximately. Line to line, we're just going to call 40. Okay, so it can do 40. Let's see if it can go 45. No, it cannot. A little bit past. Yes, yeah, so just a little bit that far. Okay, I'm going to say it can corner cut 44 degrees. Um, yeah, 44 degrees, so that's very good. Um, um, yeah, so now I'm going to lubix it, and I will be right back after I do that. It's all lubed now. And, wow. <laughs> um, it's really, 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 really fast. And it's just so amazing now. Um, yeah, the lubix, I wasn't, I didn't do too much. Um, I lubed the core, and so I put a little bit just in the cube. I didn't put that much, and it's just so, so fast. Um, yeah, it's kind of crazy. And so I'm just going to go over what I showed before, and then I'm going to go into actually how this cube is, um, yeah, uh, just compared to other cubes. So first, let's see, one flick. So yeah, that was a good 90 degrees. Um, I think that was like the 95 or 100. Yeah, it can go even a little bit farther than that. It could go like 100, let's say 130, 100. 20, I don't know, um, I'm good at math, but I'm not good at math on the spot, anyway, um, yeah, so that, it, it goes pretty far, and now let's check corner cutting, I did check it before already, but, um, so, if it goes line, it goes line to line still, so, Lubix obviously didn't make it worse, and, wait, uh, there was another side where it was a little better, I think it was blue and white, so line to line, and we'll go a little over 45, I can't go over, but I think it can go 45. Yeah, that actually was a little bit over 45. Here, let's do it line to line on this side. Yeah, it can do that. It can go all the way to the second line, on some sides at least. Um, it's not too easy to do, but it can do it. And it can go just a little over 45. And one thing I forgot to show before was backwards corner cutting. And that... Now, at least, is about half a cubie. Maybe let's see if we can go just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, just a little over half a cubie. I might say, like, five-eighths of a cubie. Or maybe even three-fourths. Yeah, it was looking like three-fourths there. But, yeah, some sides are better at corner cutting than others, and that's just the way it always will be. Um, yeah, so it's very, it's a very fast cube. And um, so now I'm just going to really go on to an actual review of this, because the rest of it was more before and after. Um, yeah, so this cube is really fast, as I showed already, and um, now I'm sure what you're wondering is, is it as good as the Black Sanchi? Is it as good as the Fang Shi? Is it as good as the Gu Hung? Um, and I can tell you, it is better than the Black Sanchi. Um, I do not have it right here with me, but the Black Sanchi, but I do know that this does beat it, um, because I was comparing them a little bit before, not on camera. And, um, yeah, so it is better than the Black Sanchi. You can trust me on that. Or at least this specific sticker list is better than that Black Sanchi. Um, yeah, and it's also, it does beat the Guhong, the stickerless Guhong, I would say by far, because this is just really good. It has, um, it has a weird feel. Uh, the stickerless Guhong is very smooth and pretty quiet, too. But this one, the Zanchi, it's louder, um, and it sounds more crunchy. So, it is smooth, but it doesn't sound smooth. It's like that. It's kind of weird. Um, yeah, so, it has a crunchy feel, and it is pretty smooth nonetheless, and it corner cuts really well. And as far as how it compares to the Fangxi, because I know everybody's curious about that, you know, Zanxi versus Fangxi, big thing. So, 
so the Feng Shui is a really great cube too. And as many people, if you watch my channel often, you would know that the Feng Shui is my favorite cube in my collection. So how does this compare to the Feng Shui? Um, honestly, I would say that it's about as good as a Feng Shui. It really is. And um, the only thing is, I'm going to assume that it will pop sometimes. Um, I'm not going to give it the benefit of the doubt because I do have my own Zanshi. It's not stickerless, but it is a Zanshi nonetheless, same mechanism. And that pops sometimes, and the Feng Shui never does. So honestly, that's the main difference, but I think this is just as fast as a Feng Shui, just as good at corner cutting. Um, it's really just as good as a Feng Shui in almost every way. Um, yeah, I really do like it. The only thing is about this, it's not legal in competitions because it's stickerless. Um, so that is another place where the Feng Shui beats it. But if you don't plan to go to competitions, this would, this would be a great cube for you. Um, I would say it's good for anybody who is intermediate at cubing or an expert at cubing even um, because it it can really do whatever you want it's just that good um, but if you are an expert at cubing you'd probably be going to competitions in which case I'd recommend the Feng Shi so I would say Feng Shi over Zanshi but still stickerless Zanshi over Black Zanshi if you're not going to competitions anytime soon um, so yeah overall I really like this cube would I recommend it I would um, but I don't think I'm going to get one because I have enough 3x3s three three in my collection at the moment. But I would recommend it to somebody. It's a very good speed cube. Um, it's really like the best Zanshi I've ever tried. It's so nice. Yeah. Anyway, so I sort of said a lot in this video, but yeah, that's really all there is and stuff. So yeah, see you in the next video.